you very much. Look at you. What a crowd. Well, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I know why you're happy tonight. <laughs> I know I always say this, but this is really good. Derek Jeter ended his big career at Yankee Stadium last night with a game-winning hit in the bottom of the ninth inning. <laughs> Take that, Isis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, America is still having a full-on panic attack about Isis, and who can blame them? They released a new audio, Isis did. It said, you will not feel secure even in your own bedrooms. Oh, no, that's the NSA. I'm sorry, I, I knew it was one or the other. But don't worry about Isis. Obama is getting his full George Bush on. He is. He started bombing a new country, all his own, Syria, and he went to the UN and called them a network of death. I thought that was CBS, but okay. Um, <laughs> and he's gotten all the other countries involved. He got five Arab monarchies involved. The British are doing it now. They're with us. They're always with us. They're the Lindsey Graham to our John McCain. You know that. <laughs> And Belgium. Belgium's on board. Watch out, ISIS. <laughs> Belgium is with us, and they don't waffle. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> of course, when I say these countries are with us, you know, they aren't really helping us take the fight to ISIS. They're accompanying us on these missions. They're flying alongside. It's, it's kind of like when a woman says she's shopping with her husband. He's not really shopping. <laughs> He's holding the purse. That's really what's going on there. But, uh, of course, this bombing of Syria is a little awkward. Because a year ago, we were going to bomb Syria, but we were going to bomb the other guy. <laughs> we were going to bomb President Assad, and now we're his air force. <laughs> yeah, we're bombing his enemies. Doesn't mean we like Assad. We just love bombing. That's... <laughs> And we're not just bombing ISIS over there. We're bombing the new hot terrorist group. Have you heard about Khorasan? Yeah. ISIS is so five minutes ago. <laughs> it's all about Khor Khorasan. A week ago, I thought it was the new restaurant in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Khorasan? That's right. <laughs> I tell you, our pilots are so used to bombing people in the Middle East that we can call them up in the middle of the flight and say, hey, you know what, while you're out, um, <laughs> Would you mind destroying these other motherfuckers we have in mind? <laughs> no. I'm... I'm kidding. We don't call them up. We text. And that just... And you know what we're blowing up over there is our own equipment. <laughs> That's what's so interesting. No, it's true. We're blowing up ISIS's tanks and Humvees uh, that we know are good because we gave them... <laughs> We gave them to the Iraqi army, and then ISIS took them from the Iraqi army. Uh, so uh, after this is all over, they say now that we're going to have to give Iraq brand new equipment. <laughs> and you know what that means? Police over here are going to have to ride around in last year's tanks. <laughs> <sighs> now... <laughs> The other thing we're bombing over there is oil refineries, because ISIS took over some oil refineries, so that's how they make money, so we're bombing oil. Talk about a tough one for Republicans. <laughs> bombing oil? It's like asking John Boehner to fight his bartender. What the...? <laughs> <sighs> bombing innocent oil. <laughs> but uh, bombing, I must say, good news, is achieving its purpose. Defense stocks are through the roof. Bombing is achieving its purpose. Defense stocks are through the roof. <laughs> no, it's true. The regular stock market is up 2% in the last year, but Lockheed, Boeing, Raytheon, General Dynamics, up 20%. And Wall Street has noticed. Apple just announced next year the iPhone will kill people. <laughs> so we're all good on that one. But, you know, all of this stuff pales to the great scandal of our time. Are you sitting down? <laughs> oh, wait. 
I can see you. Are you sitting down? That's what I meant. I know these people are sitting down. Yes, I don't know if you saw what happened this week, but Obama, oh my God, saluted a Marine with coffee in his hand. He got off Air Force, uh, the helicopter, Marine One, and he had a coffee in his hand, and he did that. <laughs> so the right wing is just flipping out, because as we all know, I've said this before, when Jesus sat down to write the Constitution, he, <laughs> he put this on page one, no saluting with coffee in your... <laughs> really? Reagan used to salute the curtains. Are you kidding me? And if that's not enough to show that America is going to hell in a handcart, I'm sure you all saw this this week. An intruder got into the White House. A man Fox News refers to as President Obama. <laughs> and to make matters worse, when the guy got in, Obama saluted him with a cup of coffee. Oh, it was just terrible. And, no, but it's amazing. The guy ran across the front lawn, made it all the way to the front door of the White House. And now conservatives are saying, this is going to embolden Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs>